All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kip Low Profile Hubs mod, which was originally made by forum user Captain Capard. It's now being re released by Micah. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a number of lovely new structural hubs for you to build with. So let's uh, jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get here. Here, and they are some pretty nice parts. So let's uh, grab a Mark 1-3 command pod for size comparison sake, and then head down to our mod filter, just leaving on Kip Engineering, and then of course head down to Structural, where all the parts for this mod do live. Now you guys may be noticing something right off the bat here, and that's that we do have pairs for almost all of the parts. There's one here that does not have a pair, but the rest come in either a large or medium size variety. So I'll be displaying each of them as one part, so you know, you just notice that they'll be the large and medium. And another thing to note, the medium ones are purely structural in nature. They have no additional resources to their names. That being said, the large ones tend to have other things going for them. So let's take a look at the first part here, that being the low profile 30 degree structural section, where of course, just again to reiterate, medium got nothing besides being a structural part, a nice one, but structural. The large, however, holding a battery of 300 electric charge and can also even hold one singular kerbal, besides being a cool 30 degree slanted structural section. Good times. Now the next part we have is the low profile three way structural hub. Again, the large one of these is gonna hold 300 electric charge, but this one does not hold a kerbal. It is purely a battery and the cool T-junction structural hub there. Now moving on, we have the low profile 45 degree structural section with its large version having a battery once again of 300 electric charge and bringing it back to holding one Kerbal. Now after that, we have the low profile four way structural hub with the large version yet again, I'm pretty sure it's a copy and paste between almost all of the parts here, having a battery of 300 electric charge. Now then after that, we have the low profile 60 degree structural section where it's a large variant, once more holding a battery of 300 and coming back to holding one Kerbal. Then we have the low profile six way structural hub with its large variant, again having that battery of a 300 electric charge. Now, after that one, we move on to the low profile I section structural hub, which is really more of like a structural tube, but hey, call it whatever you want. And this one, once more, having a battery of 300 and coming back to holding one Kerbal. Now, as for the last pairing, we have the low profile L section structural hub, once more with a 300 electric charge, but no Kerbal this time, so it's like almost every other one has a Kerbal or doesn't. Now, finally, we have the largest of the parts, the low profile hexagonal structural hub. Now, this one's very large, as it is actually made for the 3.75 meter parts and does have a battery this time, thankfully not of 300, but of rather a thousand. And it is gigantic. As you can see here, if we pop it on there, like I said, it is built for the 3.75 meter size of parts, though the side bits here are the 2.5 meter, which is pretty cool. And again, just to reiterate with the other parts, no matter which one of these other pairings you go with, the large is built for 2.5 meter, and the medium is built for 1.25 meter. And all in all, they are just some pretty awesome little things. I do very much enjoy them. They open up a lot of cool possibilities for things you could build with either space stations, bases, or intergalactic starships. 
ships. It could be quite entertaining to add in some fun angles and curves, and just some other than round sections. I mean, it does kind of get boring always having the same old rounded rockets. Now we have these, and hexagons are a good thing. Now, of course, that's all the parts in question we do have here, so let's uh, jump out into the world where I do have uh, the ship that I created earlier, which normally mine are always weird monstrosities. This one, though, yes, very much still a weird monstrosity, I kind of like. I think it looks fun. <laughs> also kind of reminds me of a weird angled person, though. If I would have angled these ones 90 degrees to the side, it would have looked like a person holding their arms out. Well, yes, we have a kind of haphazardly created ring there in the center. We're using the curve bits to uh, kind of have some engines off to the side for whatever reason. And I actually really enjoyed using this hexagonal hub down here to, instead of having it normally, again, sort of turned 90 degrees, having it this way, sort of more in line, allowing me to put out curved sections like that. I just thought it was an interesting and fun way to go about it to create something entirely weird and wonky, but you know what? To me, entertaining. So yes, if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and you do come back for the next one, when we'll hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!